This video, Google My Maps, is not just a tutorial how to make custom Google Maps, but I'm also going to show you a trick you will not find anywhere else. Hi, my name is BK and welcome to my channel. Here I do small tech tips and if you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to my little channel, give me some support. It is sort of thank you for me and I will do my best to make this video as clear and interesting for you as I can. There are two topics I'm going to cover in this video. First is how to make custom Google My Map, what can you do with it and you can do a lot and how to share it with the world if you want to. Second topic is for good webmasters. It is more advanced and not everybody needs to use it. I will show you the way how I embed Google Map into any website with only labels I wish to display on it. Anybody with a little skill can be a webmaster, but a good webmaster doesn't put all the competitors on the same map where your client is. Makes no sense business-wise. I will put the timestamp link in the description of the video if you don't want to watch how I use Google My Maps or you are in the hurry. That way you can skip to the part you are interested in. So here we go. To create Google My Map, that is the name actually, Google My Map, you need a Google account. A Gmail account will do just fine. Come to the Google and type My Map. Click on the first link. And we are here. At the moment I don't have any maps on this account, so we'll create one together. And this is our map. I need to mention, if you're not logged in with your Google account, Google will ask you to log in before you can see my maps. At the moment this map is showing my part of the world. When you will be doing your map, it will be showing your part of the world. That is not important, we can change all that and we will. On the left is some very important stuff, I will talk about it a little bit later. With this up here we will make our map exactly as we want it. This is undo and redo button. This hand uh, drags an item or entire map. This adds a marker. This draws a line or a shape. This adds a direction. And this is very useful, this measures distance or area. Let's make a custom Google map or some touristy place like Santa Barbara, USA. Santa Barbara, not Italy, US, here it is, California, USA. And here is Santa Barbara. Let's close this and let's zoom in a little bit to the center to see what's up. And this is this is nice position. Before we start, I will change the layout of the map because down here on the left you can change the layout. Just click on this base map, and you have nine layouts to choose from. All these seven layouts, except these first two, are completely useless. Maps are goddamn ugly, I wouldn't use it for anything. So this is a classic map Google opens with, but I especially like this one, satellite map. And I will be doing Google My Map with this layout. First let's change the name of the map. Just click on the name and let's call it... What shall we call it? Wait a minute. Let's make a map for this, for this Eagle Inn. It will be useful for the second part of the video. So let's call the map the Eagle Inn. The Eagle Inn. You can add some description here if you want to. The coolest place in Santa Barbara. You can add any information you want to on your map, like telephone number or anything. Let's click save. I will delete this pin Google has made when we searched for Santa Barbara. And I will add the eagle into our map just by clicking on it. It automatically pulls info from the Google Maps. I find it useful and I will leave it and I will click add to map. And now we have the eagle in on layer 1, or at the moment untitled layer. Let's rename this layer to main. Layers are very useful, we will make some more little bit later. 
Let's change this eagle in pin or marker and make it more appealing. We can drag it anywhere we want, but let's leave it here where the eagle in is. Just click on the marker and click on style here. Here we can change the color and even more useful, you can change the icons. I know there are some icons in color, here they are. Let's put some nice hotel icon, for example, this bed, golden bed. Let's close this and now our Eagle Inn look, have, has a bed as an icon, more appealing for me. But we can change it even further, for example, we can add anything we want up here. Very nice place or whatever and we can save it or we can even add a photo click on this camera here and this pop-up will open we can upload a photo use our web camera or paste image url let us find some pictures of eagle in Click on images. Uh, Eagle in Santa Barbara. This is Eagle in. So, open image in a new tab. Copy the link. Go back and paste the link here. Select. And now our pin has a picture also. Let's take a look how a map looks at the moment. To do that, just click preview button. This is our map. This is our Eagle Inn. We have only one layer, main. If you uncheck it, Eagle Inn will be gone. But when you click on it, here is a picture we put there. And this is the info Google pulls from uh, Google Maps. Okay. Let's go back and make some further changes. It's time to make some driving directions to our Eagle Inn from, let us say, from where should we drive? From this, from this. Okay, click on add directions and it, it will automatically make a new layer, you see, and point A is already the Eagle Inn. Point B will be this, Toma restaurant and bar. Let's type Toma. Toma restaurant and bar. Is it is it this? Is it this? It is this. Okay, now we have directions from Eagle Inn to Toma restaurant and bar. We can again preview our map. And now we have two layers. Main layer with our Eagle Inn and directions from Eagle Inn to Toma restaurant and bar. Let's go back and make a new layer. Just click on here, add a layer. And let's title this one important. And let us add a pin to that layer. You see this blue line here? That means that we are currently working on this layer. If you click here, we'll be working on this layer, here on this layer. We want to make a pin on this layer, so we, we are clicking here clicking up here to make a marker and let's make a pin for example here near the bus station and call it a meeting point click save let us change an icon click style more icons and find something something useful like this flag here okay now we have a meeting point with the flag. Let's take a look how map looks now. Now we have three layers, main with Eagle Inn, directions from Eagle Inn to Toma Restaurant and Bar and our meeting point. We didn't add any picture to our meeting point, but we could add some information, phone numbers, pictures, whatever. The same way as we did it to Eagle Inn. Let's go back. Let me show you how you can add area to your map. Let's do it again on this important layer. Click on this draw a line. You can also draw a driving route, bike route or walking route, but let us draw a line here. 
just click and drag and make a shape if your ending point connects to your starting point you will make a shape otherwise you will make a line let's call this kids zone kids stay here click a save you can also change this for, for example from gray to to orange You can play with it however you want. And let's let's take a look at our map now. Click on preview. And now we have more stuff on the map. If you click on this down below, you can change from satellite view to traffic view. But I prefer, as I said, this. And if they click on this area, they will get the name that is the kid zone, kids stay here. For example, if your kids are playing and you told them don't go into the ocean, stay here, they should stay here. Let me show you two more cool things with Google My Maps. If you click on this link, measure distance, you can measure distance from any point to any point. For example, from the Eagle Inn to the ocean is 400 meters. Very useful. Also, you can measure an uh, area. For example, this kid zone, click on this kid zone and it will show you 0.574 hectares i did the math for you and that is 1.41 acres so you can even know how large is the kids zone you allocated for them to play in this is a custom google map i'm doing for real estate agency i started with the land because land is more difficult to mark than apartments this one here is also a custom map i did for the blue house apartments I put a picture up here, like I showed you before. There is all this info. I removed all other apartment houses in the area and I put only restaurants, bars, other points of interest like, like the beaches. And you can also click on a picture to see the beach. So guys, there are really no limits what you can do with the Google Map. You can mark anything anywhere on Google Map and make it your own custom Google Map. Let me just point you to these three dots up here when you click on it you can even print your map if you choose to i am pronouncing a map done we now need to share it with the world click on this share button up here and make it public click this change here and make it public you could share it only with certain people but i always make it public this link up here is your link let's copy this link close this and this is how your friends and everybody else will see your map just the way we did it there is the eagle inn there is the route to toma restaurant there is the kids playing area you can click on this meeting point and it will take you to the meeting point you can click on this Eagle Inn and it will take you to the Eagle Inn. So you can also use this to navigate through your map. So this is it for the first part of this video. Second part will be much shorter and it will start in a few seconds. If you are living here, thank you so much for watching. If I showed you something useful, please subscribe to my little channel. It is sort of thank you for me. And now part two. If you have watched this video to this point, you know by now how to make a custom Google map you wish to embed into your website. You may have skipped the first part, but it doesn't matter. The point is that you know. Now, anyone can come to Google Maps and grab a link. All you need to do is click here and copy this link and paste it into WordPress or somewhere else. You can even click embed a map and paste this code up here into your website. But it is a regular traffic map, it is not a satellite map. Now, you might be thinking all we need to do is click here and switch to satellite. And now we have satellite view with all the pins. And we could turn labels off by clicking here. But it turns off every label here. But when you embed this map into your website, all the labels will be back on, believe me. So, this is not a solution how to embed satellite map with only your labels. For this, we need to go back to our Eagle Inn map.
as you can see on our map here, all these businesses are closer to the beach and marina, so on a better location. There is really no point for the Eagle Inn to showcase its competition on his map or his website. Some potential guests might conclude, as I might also, let's go somewhere else, closer to the ocean, and poof, off they go, no guests, no money, bad for business. Let me tell you a quick and easy way how we can embed this map into our website without all these unnecessary labels. Just click on this base map and choose any of the middle three maps. That will do the trick. There will be no labels if you embed this kind of map into your website. But this is not a satellite map and we wish to embed the satellite map into our website. And I will show you now how can we do that. Click on these three dots, then embed on my site, copy the code. This is a page, a demo page I made on my WordPress, but it could be any page, it doesn't have to be WordPress. Let's paste the code, update the page, and let's preview it. And this is our map with all these labels. So, let's go back and paste the secret code here before the quotation marks closes. It looks like this. This is the secret code right here. Let's update the page and take a look. Here it is, our Eagle in map without doodles on it, nobody else, no competition. You can click here, click on the legend, go find Eagle Inn, look at the meeting point, everything works. Let me just show you one more thing. This Z here is the zoom. Let's zoom a little bit tighter, 17, and let's make a map a little bit higher, for example, 580. Let's update and preview once more. Here it is once again, beautiful map, congratulations guys! I need to tell you one little downside, if someone who visits this site clicks on this icon here and double clicks on this map here, it will open the traffic map with all the labels we don't wish here. But in my years of experience nobody goes this deep, they will stay on this satellite map and admire it how beautiful it is. So this is it guys, I have told you everything I know about Google Maps, I hope I was useful to you, I did my best, I hope you liked the video, I hope you will subscribe to my little channel, show me some support, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully very soon, bye guys!